So today, I'm going to be reviewing the Trek Fuel EX7. So if you want to get this exact same, this one right here, this exact Trek EX7, you can come to Bike World Kentucky Paducah and pick it up for yourself. Special shout out to them for letting me review all these bikes for zero dollars. Let's get into a review. So starting off with things, coming up next to the drivetrain, we have the Shimano Dior XT drivetrain. Very, very good drivetrain for the money. Uh, I believe this is a 51 to 10 teeth cassette and uh, the front should be like a 34 T, uh, yeah, it's a 30 T uh, chain ring in the front and it has the SLX uh, crank arms and these are just cheap pedals. So this bike does not come with pedals, just a little disclaimer. Uh, so you'll have to get your own pedals, but just for this demonstration and for this test ride, uh, I threw on some pedals, well the bike shop did for me, uh, but still coming around here, we have the, uh, the rims are Bontrager uh, Line Comp 30s, uh, pretty decent rims in my opinion, uh, they are uh, sh not Schrader, uh, these are Presta, so that's good, uh, I do not believe that these come up, these are not tubeless ready, I don't think so, uh, if they are, that would be very, very nice to include that for Trek. Uh, but uh, they are XR5, team issue, tubeless, oh, they are tubeless, tubeless ready, but that doesn't mean we're sealant inside of it. But uh, they're XR5, team issue, uh, tires, very, very grippy tires, as you can see right here. The knobs are pretty nice size. Uh, this bike isn't a large, so it fits me pretty well. I'm about 5'8". Anyone from about 5'8", I would say about uh six and a half feet will probably fit this pretty well uh but anyways the fork is a rock shocks raycon i believe uh maybe it's a raycon i can't really see uh anyways it says rock shocks 35 uh, we're just gonna call it the rock shocks 35 since i don't know what it's called at the moment but uh has compression rebound cr compression and rebound uh things are pretty uh, high quality. Uh, the rebound is very, very high quality compared to the Judy and the Raycon. Uh, so that's good that uh, Rock Shocks included a higher quality uh, rebound valve. Uh, and coming back to the back of the bike, uh, the brakes are a TRP uh, E23 brakes. Very, very sweet brakes. Uh, I'm not sure how many millimeter rotors these are, but I can guarantee you these are at least 200 millimeter rotors in the rear, probably about a 220 in the front. Uh, both are TRP, uh, they look sweet on the bike. Uh, hydraulics, so uh, yeah, they're gonna stop you in no time. Uh, just coming up here, the ergonomics of the bikes looks really, really sweet. It's not nice, so Trek included a chainstay protector included into it, but it is plastic, so it might uh, wear away pretty easily. And over here we have the Flox Float DPS uh, shock on the rear. Uh, absolutely stunning shock for what you get on this bike. Uh, compression, rebound, lockout, air, whatever you want. It has all the bells and whistles. Uh, the only thing that I don't like about this bike is the price. Uh, I believe that it is around four to five thousand dollars. I'm not sure about that just quite yet. I'll reveal to you to y'all at the end of the video the final price at bike world uh but it comes with a uh bontrager arvada seat uh decent seat from trek uh bontrager is made by trek so that's why i call it trek uh, seat but uh, uh i believe this is a bontrager trek uh dropper post as well uh just standard dropper post if y'all can't already see there uh goes up and down pretty fast decent drop post in my opinion uh, but coming up towards the uh, front of the bike, uh, very, very sweet ergonomics, as I said earlier. Uh, the bottle cage, uh, where the bottle cage is, does come out, so that's sweet, because you can uh, externally, uh, you know, internally route your cables easily instead of having to have that uh, magnetic tool. And also, this whole entire, uh, this whole entire bottom part comes off, so that's very, very nice that Trek includes that. Uh, this fork, by the way, it does have a uh, oil oil 
recording so you can uh, check your sag and see what you need to run. And the hubs running on this bike are boost. Uh, they're Bontrager hubs. I'm not sure what type of hubs they are. I'm sorry about that. Oh yeah, this derailleur does have a clutch. You would expect that from a $5,000 bike. So that's nice that they include that. Uh, but these TRP brakes are very, very sweet. Uh, it's boost uh, through axle. So you can just twist this and the whole entire wheel or come, will come off easily. Uh, but coming back up to the front of the bike, we have Bontrager line comp 30s in the front, as I said earlier. Uh, and these tires are 2.5 in the rear. And we have a 2.5 in the front as well, both the exact same tire. Uh, very, very sweet tire. Uh, and the shifter on the uh, EX Fuel 7 is a SLX shifter made by Shimano Dior. Uh, very, very sweet shifter. Uh, you can go, you can downshift either way by pushing or pulling on it. So that's a nice uh, touch that Shimano included that. Uh, and also the driver post lever is very, very cheap, so I'd highly recommend upgrading that. I say we go ahead and test ride this Fuel EX7 out in the parking lot, and we'll see how it feels. Alrighty, everyone, here we are on the Trek EX Fuel 7. Just riding it around, it feels really, really good. Uh, my personal thoughts on this bike is that you could go on Black Diamond, maybe even Double Black Diamond, without even worrying about uh, breaking anything. Uh, the uh, fork in the back, well, the shock in the back, and uh, the fork in the front feels really, really good. Uh, by the way, guys, I'm sorry if y'all hear some wind noise. Uh, I'm in a really, really windy location right now. Sorry about that. Uh, but anyways, uh, pressing on the driver post, uh, it goes up right away and uh, goes down pretty quick as well. So that's nice to see that uh, Trek includes that. Uh, these TRP brakes stop you on a dime. Of course, I'm not going to test out those because uh, my go over bars. Also, uh, I'm holding my phone right now. So, uh, if I fall over, that would not be very good. But, uh, guys, I'm just sorry about all this noise because uh, I do not have a GoPro just quite yet. Screaming right now, uh, so I'm sorry about that, guys. But uh, it's just part of doing reviews like this. But uh, the bike, the stem, the handlebars, the whole entire cockpit feel really, really sweet in my hand. And uh, I feel like this bike could, would be for someone like a college student or not even a college student, maybe even a grown up trying to get out there and ride some trails. But uh, they want to tackle some black diamond and stuff like that and they could definitely ta tackle some double black maybe even pro line on this bike uh but currently for this review i'm not allowed to go on black diamond or anything or any dirt trails or anything like this because i'm reviewing it at the bike shop here in bike world kentucky uh paducah kentucky uh check them out uh big big shout out for them letting me review this bike uh they deserve, they definitely deserve all the business that they get. Uh, but anyways, uh, I guess that'll wrap up this review. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the review on the Trek EX Fuel 7. This bike is very, very good. As I said earlier, I'd recommend it to a college student or a grown-up, maybe even, trying to get out there and ride some mountain bike trails like Black Diamond, Double Black, maybe even Pro Line. But uh, anyways, guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. I hope you like this review. If you did, please smash that like button because it supports me a lot. And it also helps YouTube spread it around the YouTube algorithm. And also subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.